Good afternoon, class. Welcome to Clash 100, Lecture 3, Safe Two Stars. This is a Clan War League special. I'm going to be teaching you... Oh, I'm Professor Wu. I'm going to be teaching you how to attack up, right? Because a lot of you guys whine about having to face town halls higher than you. One, two, sometimes even three town halls higher. That's just how Clan War League works. Unfortunately for you, we've done well this year, which means we're in a higher league than we should be. So you're going to be facing higher bases than you should be. But do not fret. I'm here to save you and teach you how to get two stars almost every time. It's pretty hard to fuck this up. In fact, I would say the hardest part is getting the 50%. This strategy is going to get the town hall down 99% of the time. You have to really try to fuck this one up. So this should be a, a short lecture, pretty simple and easy. So here's the basic idea. You're going to want to use a battle blimp, and you're going to want to stack it full of stuff that'll get the town hall down. Now, if you're town hall 11, facing a town hall 11, you shouldn't do this because you should be able to beat it normally. But if you're facing a town hall 12 or any other higher town hall, the town hall will count as a defense, which means the Yeti mites that pop out of the Yeti when it dies or takes damage will target that town hall defense and they will 100% of the time hit it because it's impossible to kill the Yeti Mite before it reaches the town hall if the Yetis are on the town hall. And they will be on the town hall because you bring them in the battle blimp, which beelines for the town hall and drops directly on top of it. So you're going to want to fill your, your clan castle with however many Yetis you can take, usually one or two. Uh, town hall 12 and higher, you can take two Yetis. If you're town hall 10 or 11, you can only take one. Fill the rest of the space with either sneaky goblins, balloons, rocket balloons, something like that. Something that does high damage. The sneaky goblins are invisible. They come out first, won't get hit. We'll get a couple of good shots on the town hall before the yetis start taking splash damage and kill them. The, the rocket balloon's great because it does a ton of damage when it hits the town hall immediately. And then when it dies, it does even more damage. So that's a great option as well. And then, of course, normal balloons, the classic. So you're going to want... The, uh, the Warden's Eternal Tome. 90% of the time, you're going to want to use the Eternal Tome for your blimp, and I will show you how to make use of that for your army as well, to do both at the same time. Sometimes, very occasionally, you will bring a Lava Hound, and the Lava Hound is good if you use a ground army to try to get the 50%, because if you use an air army, like this example I have with the dragons, the dragons will pull the black air mines before the the blimp will hit it so that's wonderful if you use a ground army and i'll show you an example of why this is this is good to think about later if you use a ground army nothing will pull those black air bombs so in the time it takes your blimp to get to the edge of your warden's circle which is where you should pop your ability it might hit a black mine or two and if it hits two it's done and your attack's over you might zero star you'll probably one star but you might zero star and a one star is not good either you're going to want to usually bring some minions or archers because getting 50% is the tough part here, right? The town hall, think of that as guaranteed. The rest of your troops are just designed to get 50%, half of the base down. And a lot of times you can use archers and especially minions to pick off trash buildings around the corners of the base because sometimes people just have mortars or cannons guarding it and you can just like get your minions outside of the range of any expos, archer towers, pick them off pretty easily. It doesn't work if the eagle artillery is up, but um, sometimes you'll get the Eagle Artillery down with your main group or maybe it's next to the Town Hall and the Yeti Mites take it down. And then you're always going to want a Rage Spell for your Yetis when they come out of the blimp. You can also bring a Clone Spell. I recommend this a lot of the time. It's pretty helpful. It just it really guarantees that the Town Hall will go down and also helps you get some extra percent because with cloned Yetis, they have so much power that a lot of times they kill the Town Hall die to the town hall bomb and then the yeti mites come out and kill all the defenses around so it's, it's some extra percent um i would say always pay attention to the air sweepers that's the main thing that can really mess up this attack if you put your blimp facing where the air sweeper shooting sometimes even with the warden ability you won't get to the town hall so you're going to want to bring uh, lightning spells to take it out or maybe a free spell to freeze it as the blimp comes in and then another thing i like to do sometimes if the eagle isn't lined up in the right place uh, I'll just overgrowth the eagle, but when you're doing that, you have to be careful not to overgrowth the town hall because if you do that, uh, you will fail because the blimp will not be able to kill the town hall. So you have to place your overgrowth kind of far away from the eagle 
where it won't hit the town hall, but will hit the eagle because the overgrowth has a large radius. So let's show some example attacks now. So here's one on my fresh Town Hall 12 account. So it's everything's boosted because it's fresh. I'm using dragons and balloons. Now, if I was doing this in war, I would probably have checked, you know, where can this mortar hit? Maybe bring some minions for these buildings over here. Let me mark it. These buildings, because there's only a mortar guarding them. You might be able to pick that off with minions. Um, same thing, this whole area with just the mortar and cannon right here. So that can be something good to think about, but I was just running into a a basic regular mash just trying to find a town hall 13 to attack so what I'm looking at here is that I have three inferno towers all the way over here I can just avoid them entirely I don't even need to attack this part of the base because this can be the 50% I don't go for so I have this air sweeper which is facing where I want to attack from so I'll need to take it out with my lightning spells and then I'm gonna want to have the blimp come straight through here which means I'll put a line of dragons and balloons with the warden I'll let them get to about here, like this this wall. And once, let me let me clear some space up so I can show you. Once the warden, because the warden, if he's here, he has this circle around him. You want to pop the warden ability when the blimp is here on the edge of the circle, so that it maximizes the amount of time it has invincible before it goes to the town hall. So once the warden's ability gets here, and my blimp is here, I'll pop it. So that was the goal for this attack, and let's see how it went. So I'm just zapping out some air defenses that I don't want to deal with, and then I I use my giant arrow for the other two. So then I have no air defenses to deal with. I already zapped out that air sweeper. Looking for a good giant arrow angle off the blacksmith is perfect. Goes through both air defenses, the eagle, the queen to expose, and my line of dragons. My line of balloons. Put my king out to the side to maximize percent. That's one thing you should also do if you're doing an air attack. Just throw your king somewhere where you can get the most amount of buildings that your dragons won't get to. So I just I let them work a little bit. If, I don't care if some balloons go down. Place my blimp. And now the warden's aura is where I wanted it over the wall. I pop it, and the blimp has smooth sailing to the town hall. You'll see it pulls some black air mines, takes some shots, but it's invincible, so it doesn't matter. I have the the yetis raged and cloned and they just easily get the town hall down and it's already a two-star. Don't even need to worry about the rest of this raid. We've already got that 56%. The town hall is down, perfect. Now let me show you my actual war attack I just did in the first war of Clan War League. Now I was going up against this town hall 16 base. I don't think I could have three-starred this. Maybe I could have tried, but I didn't. I didn't see an option, so I just went for the safe two. So when I'm attacking two town halls up like this, I'll usually go for a ground army. One town hall up, I'll usually go air. But at this stage, their air defenses are so much more powerful than my dragons that they just melt. So I went with a ground army, and I would always recommend using like the beefiest troops you have. So a lot of times it'll be like golems, pekkas, yeti yetis especially are great for this. And then in air mode, obviously dragons, e-dragons are good. So I went with yetis, golems, ice golem, electro titans. That's basically what I'm going for there, just the, the tankiest troops I got. So... The whole plan is that I'm going to attack from the bottom. I'm going to get some troops in. That's why I have super wall breakers. I'm going to try to get into this area and have my troops split like this to get the most percent I can. And while that's going on, the warden will be somewhere around here. His aura will be here. And I'll just send the blimp down this red line, pop it. And then the blimp should easily sail to the town hall because uh, the air sweepers are facing this way. So they might blow my blimp a little bit off track, but it'll still get to the town hall. It's not like they're blowing straight down here to blow my blimp back. So one thing I did not consider that I definitely should have is that since I'm using a ground army, there's a uh, black air mines right here. I think two of them hit my blimp and it almost dies, but it doesn't, so it's fine. But definitely when you're using a ground army like this and you're, see, cause the town hall is kind of far. Let's say the town hall was here. I wouldn't worry about it cause I could just send the blimp here. I wouldn't even need the warden ability, but I'd pop the warden like here. The blimp would get to the town hall easily. No trouble there, but since the town hall is, is pretty far, my blimp has to get to like here before I even pop the warden ability. And at that point, there's black air mines that could be in this, this L shape that's empty. There could be black air mines over here as well. So you got to think about that thing. And that's why a lot of times a lava hound can be really good because I could place a lava hound right here. It would go for this air defense and any black air mine in this area would be popped. So then I can safely drop my blimp. But uh, yeah, I didn't do that, but the attack worked obviously so 
is how it went. I just sent golems in, put my heroes in. I put a yeti to funnel on this side, go that way, a couple of yetis. And then I'm just trying to get him into the base. I've already got the warden down, you can see his aura. And then I should have the blimp come in soon, yeah. So blimp pulls a red air bomb, and then, yeah, it pulls a black air bomb right there, so it's already low, but thankfully it didn't die. So the warden ability was able to get it to the town hall pretty easily, despite the air bombs. And then the town hall's dead. And I didn't quite get the split I wanted, only I think one Electro Titan and a Yeti went that way, so they died pretty quick. But I have a ton of troops heading this way, I have all my heroes, I have two Golems, an Ice Golem, an Electro Titan, and like six Yetis all going that way. So even though the Clan Castle's here, the Clan Castle troops were there, I poisoned them, and uh, yeah, pretty easy, 60%. Nice clean two star. Could have been better, but it also could have been worse. Tunnel 16, Tunnel 14 versus 16 two star. Can't complain. And now here's an attack from my Town Hall 14 account against the Town Hall 15. Now this, I, I this was not a good attack, but I wanted to put it in here to show you the importance of bringing these minions, right? I brought some minions and arches. Now I brought these super wall breakers that I forgot to use and the attack probably could have been better if I used them right. But in this kind of base, I noticed the eagle's far from where I want to attack. Because if I attack, I could have attacked down here, but then the town hall's far. So I wanted to attack from the top because that's the side the town hall is closer to. And the main thing is making sure your blimp lands, right? You do not want your blimp to sail off course. That's the worst case scenario. So just attack on the shorter side of the town hall 99% of the time. So I'm going to put my blimp this way. And I'm using a ground army, right? So I'm going to have a Lava Hound go for one of these two air defenses alongside the blimp to try to pull some mines. And I'm just going to have like a wave of yetis wash through the base. That's the idea. And then I have an overgrowth spell for the eagle. So I start with my golem. Just spam in yetis behind. I should have used my super wall breakers here, but I forgot. Put some ice golems. Throw in my heroes. Now I could I could probably do better to hold on to the champion when doing this. If you're tunnel 13, probably hold on to your royal champion to see if you can get some some better value with her later on. But yeah, I have the lava hound going right in front of the blimp. My warden starts to walk, so I pop the warden ability a little bit earlier than I would have liked to, but it's fine. The blimp will make it. And then I'm just using skeleton spells and free spells to kind of distract defenses, try to get as much percent as possible. And at this point. The town hall's down, but I realize, oh man, I only have 20% and my army's dying out. So I'm just looking around seeing where I can place minions. And there's all these buildings that are kind of far from the main base. So I'm just sprinkling in minions. And then, let's see. So yeah, it gets up to like high 40%, 46%. My queen's working, my royal champion just went down, my warden's probably going to die before he gets anything else. And crucially, unfortunately, the eagle artillery is still up because I attacked from the far side. And obviously the overgrowth has long, long since ran out. So I have my queen, my level 23 archer queen, wailing on this builder hut. Doesn't get it down, but luckily I have two minions. One on the workshop on the left and one on the army camp. And uh, yeah, they clutch it up for me and get the 50%. So that's why you should always bring those kind of, you know, you don't really think of the importance of minions or archers in any raid ever. But when you're hunting for 50% like this, especially attacking... This is effectively attacking three town halls up because my my hero levels and all that, this was not boosted and this is a rushed account. So if you're attacking up like this, you definitely want to do everything you can to get that 50%. So anyway, that's the idea. And hopefully, instead of whining, you guys can watch this video, learn from it, and put it to the test in the next Clan War League War. All right. This has been Professor Wu. I love you. Good luck. Make me proud.